हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू न्यू क्लास टूडेज क्लास इज अबाउट ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स ए कंट्रोल सिस्टम में कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ ए नंबर ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स एंड इन कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग टू शो द फंक्शन परफॉर्मड बाई ईच कंपोनेंट वी कॉमनली यूज ए डायग्राम कॉल्ड दि ब्लॉक डायग्राम A block diagram of a system is a pictorial representation of the functions performed by each component and of the flow of signals. And such a diagram depicts the interrelationship that exists among the various components. And the elements of a block diagram are block, branch point. and summing point first one is block in a block diagram all system variables are linked to each other through the functional blocks the functional block or simply block is a symbol for the mathematical operation on the input signals to the block that produces the output the transfer function of the components are usually entered in the corresponding blocks so this is a functional block so here the transfer function of the components are usually entered in the corresponding blocks and which are connected by arrows to indicate the direction of flow of signals the arrow head pointing towards the block indicate the input and the arrow head leading away from the block represent the output such arrows are referred to as signals the output signal from the block is given by the product of input signal and transfer function in the block so output is equal to the product of input and the transfer function next is summing point summing points are used to add two or more signals in the system so a summing point consists of a circle with a cross and plus or minus sign at each arrow head indicate whether the signal is to be added or subtracted and it is important that the quantities being added or subtracted have the same dimensions and same units so a summing point is represented by a circle with a cross next is branch point a branch point is a point from which the signal from a block goes concurrently to other blocks or summing points so this is a branch point from which the signal from a block goes concurrently to other blocks or summing points next is constructing block diagram for control systems a control system can be represented diagrammatically by block diagram the differential equations governing the system are used to construct the block diagram then by taking the laplace transform the differential equations are converted to algebraic equations the equations will have input and output variables and also constants and from the knowledge of the uh, system the input and output variables are identified and the block diagram for each equation can be drawn 
each equation gives one section of the block diagram and the output of one section will be input for another section then the various sections are interconnected to obtain the overall block diagram of the system let us construct the block diagram of armature controlled dc motor the speed of dc motor is directly proportional to armature voltage and inversely proportional to the flux in field winding in armature controlled dc motor the desired speed is obtained by varying the armature voltage this speed control system is an electromechanical control system the electrical system consists of the armature and the field circuit but for analysis purpose only the armature circuit is considered because the field is excited by a constant voltage the mechanical system consists of the rotating part of the motor and load connected to the shaft of the motor so this is the figure for the armature controlled dc motor speed control system let ra be the armature resistance la be the armature inductance ia be the armature current va be the armature voltage eb back emf then k kt the torque constant then t torque developed by motor theta angular displacement of shaft then j moment of inertia of the motor and load then b frictional coefficient of motor and load then kb the back emf constant and this is the equivalent circuit of the armature by kirchhoff's law kirchhoff's voltage law we can write i a r a plus l a into d i a divided by d t plus e b equal to v a and the torque of dc motor torque of dc motor is proportional to the flux and current and here the flux is constant we can write the torque is proportional to ia that is the armature current or we can write it t equal to kt into ia the mechanical system of the motor is shown in this figure so here we can write the angular velocity omega is equal to d theta by dt where theta is the angular displacement and we can write the differential equation that is by applying the newton's second law we can write t is the applied torque and opposing torques are due to this moment of inertia and this dashboard so we can write j into d square theta divided by dt square plus b into d theta by dt equal to t or we can write j into omega d omega by dt plus b into omega equal to t and the back emf back emf of the dc machine is proportional to the speed of the shaft that is d theta by dt or we can write eb is proportional to omega and we can write eb equal to kb into omega 
where KB is the vacuum of constant. So we have this is our first equation, then second equation, third equation, then this is the fourth equation and this is the fifth equation. Now we have to take the Laplace transforms of these differential equations. That is taking Laplace transform of the first equation. So here Ia of S into Ra because this resistance is constant then plus La into S into Ia of S then plus Eb of S equal to Va of S let it be equation number 6 and here we can write Ia of S into Ra plus L A into S equal to V A of S minus E B of S that is I A of S equal to 1 divided by R A plus L A into S into V A of S minus E B of S. And here we can draw the block diagram that is this is the transfer function and there will be a summing point with the signals VA and EB and this is the output so we can draw like this so VA then minus E B then the transfer function so this is the transfer function 1 divided by R A plus L A S then output I A of S so this is the block diagram for the first equation now we can consider the second equation that is t equal to kt ia so while taking the laplace transform for the second equation we get t of s equal to kt into ia of s and here we can draw that is kt is the transfer function input is ia of s then the output is T of S. Now we can consider the third equation that is omega is equal to D, um, D theta by DT. So while taking the Laplace transform we can write uh, omega of S equal to S into theta of S. And here we can write theta of s equal to 1 by s into omega of s. So here 1 by s is the transfer function and input is the omega s. Then output is theta of s. Because our output is the angular displacement. Now the second equation is T is equal to J into D omega by DT plus B omega and by taking the Laplace transform we get T of S equal to J into S into omega of S plus B into omega of S and we can write J into S plus B into omega of s and we can write omega is equal to 1 by j s plus b into t of s and we can draw 
like this that is 1 by j s plus b input is t of s and output is omega i of s and the last equation is e b equal to k b into omega and by taking the laplace transform we get e b of s equal to k b into omega i of s and we can draw the block diagram k b as the transfer function input is omega i of s output is e b of s now we can combine all the block diagrams so input is v a of s plus then minus here e b e b of s then here 1 by r a plus l l a into s so this is i a of s then next is k t next is this is t of s then 1 divided by j s plus b output is omega i of s then omega i of s into k b we have to take so this is k b so this is omega i of s and here output is e b of s then again the last block diagram is 1 by s output is theta of s so this is the block diagram of armature controlled dc motor armature controlled dc motor so in this way we are constructing the block diagrams so thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share and subscribe my channel